to show you how to freeze okra. First, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the ends off. So we're going to cut this end off. And then I'm going to cut this end off. Just a little bit like that. And what we want to do is cut them into the same size pieces. Just like this. to do, I've already washed these, uh, rinsed these really well with water, got all the dirt off. What I like to do is lay them out on a cookie sheet, pop them in the freezer for about a half an hour just so they get hard enough, and then when I put them in the vacuum seal bag, uh, after they've been in there for a while, they don't stick together. When we get to the cookie sheet part, I'll be back. Okay, so what I did was I put them in these little dehydrator trays. Um, I had one of those dehydrators, it went bye-bye, it quit. So I kept the trays, and I'm glad I did, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these in the freezer for about a half an hour, let them harden up, and then we're going to put them in food saver seal bags and seal them up and put them in the freezer. I also had an idea, when I put these on these trays, I can dehydrate these for some of my meals in a jar. So I'm going to do that as well. So I'm going to freeze them and dehydrate some. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I am going to pull out a bag, make a bag for my okra so I can freeze my okra. And then I'm going to seal one end. Once that's sealed, then we'll go ahead and put the okra in there, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to seal it back up. Okay, so I have my vacuum seal bag, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the okra, it's frozen, and we're going to put that into the vacuum seal bag. And once we're all done, we're going to seal it up. Okay, so now I've got my okra in my vacuum seal bag, and what we're going to do is we just try to get a little bit of air out of there. took the air out of it and now for safekeeping I'm going to seal it one last little time so it'll be extra sealed and I did the same thing on the back part here I uh, double sealed it just to make sure and that's it Okay, I ended up with two trays of okra that was four cups of raw okra. I'm going to dehydrate those. I'm going to use them in meals in a jar. But you could dehydrate those and then reconstitute them in soups or gumbo or anything like that. Um, I'll show you what they look like when they are all done dehydrating. Again, I started with four, raw, four cups of raw okra. Let's see the comparison when it's done. Okay, the okra is done dehydrating. This is the dehydrated okra. And see how crunchy it is? That's how we want it. And then what we'll do is I'll store these in um, mason jars, um, use the vacuum sealer and get all the oxygen out, and that'll keep for a very, very long time. Okay, now I'm going to show you... Once again, I've done this in another video, but I'm going to show you how I vacuum seal it with my food saver. So what I do is I put my attachment on here for a regular mouth jar. We're going to put our lid on top, and I do use used lids sometimes that I've already used on the regular Cayman jars, and this work, works great. So I put my lid on, I'm going to put my attachment on there, 
and I'm just going to hit accessory. Sorry for the noise. Okay, and then what you do is you take this little hose off. Like that. And you take the lid off. And it's sealed. That easy. Oops. It's just that easy. And I, I always put a ring on. Just for safekeeping to make sure that... You know, it's not bumped or whatever, and it pops right off. But you see? It's sealed. Now I'm going to finish these up, and I'll catch you on the next one.